Ironically, it was the Democratic leader who went out of his way to declare the midterm 2018 elections a referendum on the Senate's handling of the Supreme Court. My friend, the occupant of the chair, was running that year. The Democratic leader went out of his way to declare the 2018 midterms a referendum on the Senate's handling of the Supreme Court. In his final speech before Justice Kavanaugh was confirmed, he yelled, literally yelled over and over at the American people to go vote. He told Americans, go elect senators based on how they'd approach their advice and consent duties over these weeks. Unfortunately for him, many Americans did just that. After watching the Democrats' tactics, voters grew, out, grew our majority and retired four, four of our former colleagues who'd gone along with their party's behavior. We gained two seats, they lost four. That was the issue. Perhaps more than any other single issue, the American people strengthened this Senate majority to keep confirming this president's impressive judicial nominees who respect our Constitution and understand the proper role of a judge. In 2014, the voters elected our majority because we pledged to check and balance a second lame duck president. Two years later, we kept our word. In 2018, the voters grew that majority on our pledge to continue working with President Trump, most especially on his outstanding judicial appointments. We're gonna keep our word once again. We're gonna vote on this nomination on this floor.